Hi guys, Gary here from Mummy Makeover with a short video on something that um, comes up all the time and I know this evening whenever I'm on the group call with the girls this is something we're going to speak about um, and I, even just today I had a question in regards to this. Okay guys, so this is about um, the snacking habit that people tend to get into in the evening time and um, I'm talking about that time now, maybe this will resonate with you you know, it's probably the only point of the day you get to kind of switch off, relax, kids go to bed and you get a little bit of five, ten minute time to yourself and you tend to put your feet up, maybe put on your favorite program or sit down, read the paper or read a magazine or maybe just chill out and a lot of people tend to chill out and kind of think of chilling out with relaxation with maybe getting a bar of chocolate, some kind of a snack, biscuits, crisps, I hear it all the time guys, you know what I'm talking about things that you know you shouldn't be eating and that often derail your results Okay, so prevent you from actually physically seeing the change in your body. So you want to be avoiding those foods, obviously. So what I want to do today is I want to give you a few tips as to you know what you need to be kind of thinking of when it gets to that point of the evening and ways you can avoid making the same mistake over and over again. Because guys, listen, I hear this all the time. It's one of the most commonly asked questions to myself with regards to losing body fat, losing weight, with not only women but also guys. It's the habit of sitting down in the evening time, relaxing um sitting having a, a treat okay and it's often that that prevents people from actually seeing the physical change in their body okay so i'm going to give you a few tips here that's going to help you so the first one is don't have pitfall foods at home okay so if you have a habit of snacking on junk crisps biscuits cakes bars of chocolates and um, popcorn fizzy drinks ice cream whatever your, your your chosen vice is, okay guys, that does not just appear in the house, it has to come into the house, somebody has to purchase it. So whether that's you, your partner, your spouse, or somebody else, you have to take responsibility for the fact that you're eating this food and it's coming into the house via either yourself or your partner or spouse, okay? So guys, if you're serious about seeing physical change in your body and you realize that this is preventing you and derailing your results, then it's up to yourself to be strong, okay? My advice is, just simply don't purchase it, okay? Just don't have the stuff in the house. Don't tempt yourself. Second one is, you should, if you do tend to have, feel hungry, which of course can happen after dinner, and um, kids go to bed, you want to relax, and you maybe feel a little bit peckish, and depending on what time you've had your evening meal, it's good to have a fallback plan. So it's good to have something that if you want to have a snack, then you can have a snack, knowing it guilty free that there's no stress, and it's not going to really prevent you from moving towards your goals. Okay, so the likes of maybe like... um. 80% plus um, cocoa, real dark chocolate, um, is a great option. So a couple of squares of that is a great option. Maybe um, a piece of apple with maybe a little bit of peanut butter is a great option. So guys, those are perfectly fine. Also maybe like a little bit of natural yogurt with some blueberries, something is a perfect option as well. But guys, you need to have some kind of fallback, okay? So if you do happen to be hungry, um, you do have something there you can kind of go to. And I would recommend to say either of those three options are perfectly fine. Um, but again, you just want to be kind of, again, realizing when you get to the point of what you're thinking, what's your state of mind, whenever you think of, you know, do you need something? Do you actually physically feel hungry? Or are you doing it out of habit? Okay, so these are things you need to be asking yourself. The other thing you need to be thinking of is also your evening meal, okay? It's very important that the food that you have for breakfast, for lunch, and obviously the evening meal will determine how you feel in the evening time. So a lot of people struggle um, with snacking in the evening time, and it can be down to the fact that they haven't eaten well during the day. So make sure that your nutrition's in tip-top form from the morning you wake up, from the moment you wake up, to obviously your main meal in the evening time. And then that's gonna prevent you from feeling that hunger um, and that kind of constant craving for maybe sweet stuff because your food's been good through the day. Don't skimp on your evening meal, okay? So if you find you're in the habit of you know, snacking in the evening time, maybe take a little bit more, fill your plate with some good um, quality, high nutritional dense foods like your vegetables, your proteins, your healthy fats, those types of things guys are gonna really help you, you know, from feeling that hunger tilt in around 8 p.m., 9 p.m. maybe later. Um, so that's something obviously I would recommend, don't skimp on your evening meal. And then also realize what is what triggers it is. So is it a state of mind? Is it the fact that you've been stressed all day? And um, we've had a tough day at work, maybe the kids have been playing up. Um, is there a particular reason that you tend to go for the snacks? Is it um, just something that you do daily as a ritual? Or is something that you're actually in a state of mind? Maybe you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, you're stressed, you're anxious for some reason. Maybe you have a tough day with the kids, whatever it is. 
So once you can kind of realize the triggers that set you off in that spiral of eating the wrong types of foods in the evening times and snacking on the wrong foods, then guys, you can start to kind of remove that, okay? So once you get to that point where you feel that state of mind, you feel stressed, overwhelmed, anxious, whatever it is, maybe the kids have kind of kicked you off, you know, whatever it is, guys, once you get to that point, that's your opportunity to try and remove yourself from that state. So it could be maybe moving yourself in a different room. And another thing that I recommended to clients previously is, you know, once you've had your evening meal, go wash your teeth, okay? So that feeling of, you know, kind of washing your teeth is almost like, okay, that's the end of the day. There's nothing else going in there this evening. Um, so I'm not having to um, focus on, instead of thinking of what I'm going to have to eat, I'm actually stopping. I'm washing my teeth. And um, that's the end of the day with regards to my mouth. I'm not putting anything in other than maybe water. So those types of things, guys, will really help you. Um, very, very simple tips. Uh, the key and my advice is try and find the trigger points. You know, what is your reason for taking those snacks? What's the craving coming from? You know, once you can remove yourself from that state, maybe go to a different room. Maybe go to um, maybe go and do a, a thirty minute workout from home, twenty five minute work from home. Maybe take yourself out for a walk with the dog. Do something that's going to get you moving um, and take your mind away from obviously the snacking because it's so common. Guys, if you find this helpful, please don't be afraid of throwing us a like. And also, if you have any questions, you know, don't be afraid of asking. If you happen to miss the start of the live feed, again, make sure you go back watch the last start of the live feed because I give you a few tips in with regards to the types of foods that I would recommend that you take in the even time if you do feel snackish. And I give you other tips with regards to how to avoid the pitfalls of snacking in the even time. Guys, it's something that derails a lot of people I speak to, you know, and you have to realize that, you know, for you to be successful in your goals and nutrition, you need to make sure that you realize it's not just your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. It's the whole 24 hours, okay? It's from the moment you wake up to the moment you wake up the following day. It's the nutrition you put into your body on a daily basis. It's the habits you have on a daily basis, which will give you the outcome. Okay, guys, so I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. Um, that is my tips on how to avoid that um, snacking on the wrong types of foods in evening time. Something which I know a lot of people are guilty of because I hear the question all the time, guys. But listen, don't let this derail your progress. Keep your breakfast, lunch, and dinner good. Make sure you don't skip and read the meal. If you are going to have a treat in the evening time, just say go with one of the ones I've recommended. And guys, continue in your journey. And I want to see us move forward towards smashing your goals. So have a great Tuesday afternoon. And I'll speak to you all soon.